Hi babes, it's me, Shannon V for a Brown Girl Bella, back again to bring you more lips, lashes, and luxury. If you're new, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and then don't forget to tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I upload. For all those returning, welcome back. So when last we met, I had bought a few Viseart palettes, but I didn't really get a chance to debut it on the channel like I normally do, go through swatches and all that good stuff. So I thought I would rewind selector and do it for you today. So without further delay, let's hit it. Brown Girl Bella. me welcome back so let's dive into the latest edition of the busy art palettes this is the intendu visuette if you speak french please don't kill me i'm trying really really hard <laughs> i really am but these are 12 shades they are beautiful i'm going to read you the glowing description that is on the site what i'm going to be using to describe all the shade colors give you the shade names and give you a little product description of the palette is from beautylish beautylish is another luxury beauty makeup site much in the same veins of an ulta or a sephora so here we go with bijouette so first let me read you the product description. It says, enter a world of untold riches and opulent splendor this season with Viseart's newest and most sumptuous Intendu, I believe it's called Intendu, Intendu, yet Bijouet. Inspired by the now archive pro Bijouet Royale, the new Bijouet Intendu is a treasure trove of Baroque baubles. This sumptuous, rich collection of multifaceted gems will sparkle with joy and reflect light even on the darkest winter night. Mm. All right, so here are the shades and as always, I'm going to be moving from right to left across all three palettes. I love that they fold down so much so that you can really get to see the shades in the palette but let's go with the swatches all right so starting from the first one is nouveau it is a base or mid-tone taupe with a matte finish that's very light okay i guess you could see it a little bit there the next shade is called Ruby. Ruby is a warm wine tone with a matte finish. This is beautiful. Yeah, that's a really nice swatch. Oop, got a little something on that side. Next one is called Carnelian. Carnelian is a demi matte mid-tone pumpkin orange with flecks of reflectivity. And the last one on the row is called Scandalous. Scandalous is a teal metallic duo chrome. Oh, it's a duo chrome. Okay, come through with a duo chrome, Viseart. Fantastic. We're going now to the next row. And the first one on the second row is called Speak Easy. It is a burnt chocolate dark chocolate with a matte finish. Burnt dark chocolate with a matte finish. That's lovely. The next one is called Prohibition. Prohibition is an antique gold with a demi duochrome metallic finish. That is beautiful. That swatch went on like butter. 
The next one is called Sidecar. It is a warm, toffee, mid-tone with a matte finish. Lovely. And the last one on that row is called Sequins. Sequins is a mid-tone golden amber with a metallic finish. Oh my gosh. So that's the first two rows. Last row. First one is called Deco. Deco is a raspberry with a metallic finish. There's that. The next one is called Cubism. It is a sapphire blue with a demi duo chromatic metallic finish. Oh my goodness. I must try that one. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Then we have Jade, which is a majestic green with a metallic finish. Do that one more time. All right, and then the last one is called Velveteen. Velveteen is a mid tone purple with a demi duo chromatic metallic finish. So that's beautiful. So it is a collection of 12 jewel inspired sapphire sapphire, gold, ruby, amethyst shades in a matte, satin metallic, and dual chrome finish. Each of the Viseart coveted eyeshadow palettes have a garnered cult following for being reliable, film tested, and pro quality. And this is manufactured in France. The proprietary formula is created in tight, controllable batches to ensure high pigment quality, powder integrity and consistently consistency you can apply the shadows wet or dry with an eye brush or your fingers fantastic all right so let me take these shades off of my arm one more time here they are and let's go to work i'm ready so I thought since I am doing Busy Art, I might as well start off with the Busy Art Eye Primer. So I'm going to put a small dot in the center of each eye. And then I'm going to blend it out with one of my Esam brushes. This is the Esam W23. So I'm just going to smooth out this primer. Okay, primer is on. Let's get to work. Start off with Nouveau as the base. And I'm going to work this starting from the crease all the way down the eye. I'm going to use that toffee color, same brush. And just go back into that crease and deepen it up a little bit with the toffee. To shade it even further, I'm going to go in again, same brush, just wiping off the excess going into that dark chocolate shade. And I'm gonna focus it this time on the outer V. Just place it right there. I'm gonna go in with the Esam W21 brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of that jade and I'm going to add that right to the lid. Just 
stopping about a quarter way through. And then wiping off the brush once more, I'm gonna go into that beautiful sapphire color. And I'm gonna put that on the inner portion of the eye. Stopping just before we get to the inner corner. For the inner corner, I'm gonna go into the B09 and the gold shade here in the corner. And we're gonna pop that right in the inner corner. Next, I want to do the lower lash line, and I want to start by grabbing a Marc Jacobs Cole pen. This one is in, it's a purple color. So taking the Marc Jacobs Purple Crayon uh, Cole Liner, I'm going to line the inner rim of my lower lash line and then I'm going to go back with that same Eason brush and take that beautiful amethyst color and I'm going to run it right on top to deepen that lash line so we've got a little green going, a little blue, a little gold, finally purple for the lash line. I'm going to finish off with my travel size of the Laura Mercier. This is her Glossy Black Caviar Volume Panoramic Mascara for the lower lashes. Then we're gonna finish off the rest of the face using my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. And for the lips, I'm gonna throw on a little Earth Angel by Mother Pat for that sparkle and gloss effect. This gloss has a little bit of purple a hint of blue so it's perfect for this look I think it really goes well with the whole entire look and guys here is the finished look if you're doing nothing at home and you want to do a little something with your face here's something quick and easy you can do and it will look really really nice you have now been bellified